What's up, gang? Welcome to another episode of The Grind. Get ready. It's a new day, and I feel like the whole world is against me. I can't do anything right. Every time I take a step forward, I take two steps back. It seems like if I didn't have bad luck, I wouldn't have any luck at all. And so how do we break that? First thing, your words. Stop speaking that crap. Stop speaking those things. There's power in the spoken word. Trust me on this one. Trust me on this one. Start speaking positivity. Anytime you catch yourself speaking negativity about these things, stop putting that out into the atmosphere. Stop creating that energy. We are made up of energy. We can't be giving that negative energy out. Speak positivity into your life. Second thing is, hard times come to everybody, but hard times teach you. Hard times make you close. Like, I haven't seen a ton of people with the ability to turn over their life to God or to get closer in their relationship with God that haven't gone through some tough times. And so sometimes the tough times that you're going through may make you closer to something, closer to God, closer to where you're supposed to go. And so storms come on all. Storms, they come on the just and the unjust, good people, bad people. People just think that the people that are getting rained on, you may look out there and say, man, how come this don't happen to him? How come all this stuff don't? It does. There ain't no way around it. There ain't no way around it. It happens to her. It happens to him. They just are able to win the mental battle. Keep on moving. Keep on pushing. Because the next step to this is you got to stay. You got to play it out. You got to be positive. You got to believe that you're getting ready to get out of this thing. Understand that this stuff, the next thing in this, in this deal is that some of these things happen for a season. It's just a season. Stay there. Plant your feet in the ground. You can't keep quitting on everything. You can't keep giving up on everything. You can't keep beating yourself down. There's going to be enough things that beat you. You can't beat yourself. And so what you have to understand is you're going to have a losing season. The greatest coaches, I watch them lose some games. The greatest coaches, I watch them not make it to the playoffs at times. And so that's a losing season for a person. That's not a perfect time in their, in their life. You have to understand it's just a season though. And the way that you handle the losing seasons is going to dictate if you get an opportunity to win. If you're moping around when you lose, why me, poor me, you don't get to have many winning seasons because you're all focused on speaking, thinking negative about what already happened instead of moving the energy moving forward. Also, when you start to feel like the world's against you, stand in a position of gratefulness, attitude of gratitude. How many things do you have to be grateful for? Maybe you have a healthy son. Maybe you've been married for 25 years. Maybe you're still alive. Maybe you got a decent job. Maybe you're living in sunshine. Maybe you're on a, like, what are the things that you could focus on instead of focusing on what you don't have? Attitude of gratitude on what you do have. I saw this thing the other day about how gold maintains its composition even through the fire. That's what separates gold from other things, gold from other metal. Like other things you put it through the fire, hot, hot flames and high temperatures and it melts or it dissolves or it can't, but gold, put it through the fire and it still is going to be some gold. I want to encourage you as you go through the fire, you are meant to be gold. You're going to maintain, you're going to be okay, but it starts with your mind. It starts with the way that you think, the way that you speak. It, it starts with the way that you feel, what you believe, and understand the world is not against you. The world is for you if you allow it to be, if you speak the right words, if you do the right things, if you take steps in the motion in the direction that you can control, understand everybody take hits. Everybody takes losses. It's how you bounce back that determines where you end up. It's your perspective after a loss and how you bounce back that's going to determine your future victories. And so I want to encourage you, if you're in a storm, if you're in a moment, it's just the season. Get through this stuff. You're going to be okay. Thanks for joining us on another episode of The Grind. Get ready. It's a new day.